This week on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive, we'll launch stop number three from Lake Ray Roberts, a 29,000 acre reservoir just north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. It's late April, water temps are in the mid 60s and fish are in all stages of the spawn. Anglers are reporting low visibility and a tough bite. Man, it's definitely a finicky lake, but you can definitely tell that there are some giant, giant fish in here. It's not a, a big numbers lake, it's a quantity, you know, a, a quality lake. So when you get the bites, it's usually good fish. So yeah, if you can get five in the boat tomorrow, you'll be doing pretty good. To be able to get five keeper bites on this lake after the practice that we had, get 15 pounds, I would be ecstatic. Uh, it'd be great points for us. With two events down and two more qualifying stops before the championship, those progressive team of the year points are starting to matter. Coming off back-to-back -back events at Rayburn, we expect to see a shakeup on the leaderboard as teams lay it all on the line for a shot at the progressive team of the year title. We gotta go out there and have a good day tomorrow. I figure to hang in there, we probably gotta get at least 20. We got some real good teams and the, they're all in the hunt. The point standings will change. It'll be a huge, it'll be a huge shift after this tournament. Be, there, this is this is this is like of the haves and half nots. In a tight race, Arizona's Seth Furmanek and Robert Kettner have the advantage. But there's a whole host of worthy sticks, including former Team of the Year Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine, within striking distance. This is a huge, talented group of anglers, and we're blessed to be where we're at. Hopefully, we can hold on to it. It's going to be really tough. Along with the battle for points at the top of the progressive leaderboard, there's a second battle in place, as teams are also vying to qualify for the season-ending championship. It's consistently tight towards the top, and that doesn't let up all the way down to that top 75 spot. So when you get the opportunity to actually be in that top 75, get yourself into the championship, that in of itself is a massive feat, and you should be really, really proud, proud of that accomplishment. The stage is set, so let's get right into tournament coverage. This is Austin's Chris Sabina, fishing with his dad, Bob. So let me show you this real quick before we get going. This is a big reason why we're here in the spot. We just hit seven o'clock, time to go fishing. You can see on live scope, this is exactly why we're here. That's not bass that you're seeing down there, but that is a healthy, healthy fishery. What you're seeing streaking up and down that screen right now, bait fish. You've also got quite a bit of crappie and bluegill as well. So that's gonna team up for a really, really rich environment for these bass to get up in the grass and eat. Casting plastics along the shoreline in the back of a marina, Bob sets the hook on their first of the morning. Got a boy. It's right here for you. It's right here for you. Little guy. Hey, it's worth it. Good number one. And it's on a Senko. That's why I was mixing it up. It's absolutely fantastic. I think it's one of the greatest things that should bring anybody to come out to fish the Texas Steam Trail is having that opportunity to go out with loved ones and people you're going to create memories with for the rest of your lives. And might as well go out and catch some big bass while you're at it. Something's going on with the reel. Here, 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 here. Don't worry, just get control of it. It's underneath the boat. Here he is. You gotta grab him, you got this. You got this. Here he is, Dad. You got him. You got him. Let's go. It's not even a big one, but what? That's totally angler fault. So let me give you guys a quick lesson on how to use a reel. I just purchased a new reel and I didn't uh, click in the uh, drag mechanism. So when I set the hook on that fish, that fish had everywhere to go and every reason to come off. Whew. That'll make you feel good. All right, it's only like a three and a half, four pounder, but whew. you bring in five of these to the weigh-in, I'd really like my chances of getting a decent check. Gearing up for your next adventure? Then be sure and check out Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's for the best selection of gear, tackle, and electronics. Visit one of their retail stores or shop online. The 2023 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By Ranger Boats and by Progressive. 
Coming up, we'll resume tournament coverage from stop number three of the top-rated Bass Team Trail in the nation. The Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail, presented by Progressive. If you want to be here, it all starts here. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we have the widest selection of the quality brands you love to get you outdoors. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, our friendly, knowledgeable outfitters will help you find the right products for your next trip. Shop with confidence with our low price guarantee. Plus, club members save even more on great gear with exclusive member pricing. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, voted America's best outdoor retailer. When there's miles of water in front of you, and hundreds of feet below. You need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Hey, all you boaters out there. Any way you float, float protected with Progressive. They insure over 1 million watercraft just like yours. Get a quote for your boat today. Insure your passion. Hey, RVers. Any way you explore, explore protected. With Progressive, a leader in RV insurance. They make it easy to quote and the process takes as little as four minutes. Get a quote now. Insure your passion. The best days happen out here where the only thing on the line is what you can catch. And every cast could be the one that fills your memories with the fish of your lifetime. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go boldly. Back on Lake Ray Roberts, it's late March, and by all accounts, fishing has been tough. High winds during the week have the lake stirred up and visibility low. There's not much visibility, it's, and especially with this wind, a lot of the little pockets are getting blown out. Clear water is more south. Uh, there's one arm up towards the north that is a little bit clearer, so being that it's a trailer tournament, it's a lot easier to get to those spots and be able to fish there longer. What clear water there is to be found has already seen its share of pressure, and fish are getting hard to come by. Oh, the challenge is going to be just a crowded, you know, lots of boats on the water. Um, lots of pressure on the lot, flight. Lots of pressure. We're going to we're going to kind of pick this little area apart and, and be here for a while uh, and just see what we can make happen. Ground it out. Pulling cranks and dragging plastics. Early on, they've got the area to themselves, or so they think. There's Sasquatch. I see. <laughs> That's Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> Anybody says he ain't real, there he is. Sasquatch oh, fishing. Did you get him on film? Oh, yeah. We need proof. Nobody's ever had proof yet. <laughs> He's fishing too. What do you like about this uh, ranger? I've fished a ranger for 20 years. And uh, I like a lot of the new features of this ranger. Um, I like the ride system they have in it. Um, I like the way these boxes are laid out. The cooler, some of the, all the little, the little changes and designs that they did, I like. My first bass boat was a Ranger. Got a lot of friends that fished different boats and I'm just, I'm the Ranger man. That's, that's the way it is. <laughs> I was getting this boat and uh, I was ordering a boat. My son passed away a few years ago, and I wanted to order a boat, um, kind of design it and pick everything out. And I don't necessarily like a memorial, but um, when he passed away, fishing's what kind of got me through it, and the good Lord. But I got to get away and heal. I'd come fishing and uh, I was looking at different boat brands and my wife said, honey, you've always drove a Ranger, just get a Ranger. 
So I went and worked with Cabela's and Bass Pro, and uh, we picked everything out on this boat and got it built. And uh, it's been it's been pretty special. Another dad fishing to honor his son is Jeremy Lambert, fishing with his partner, Brian Hollingshead. This is their fifth. So my boy was born with autism, and there's honestly, there's not a lot of uh, knowledge of it. And so it's been a passion of mine to give recognition to those kids. And we started a Facebook page, Fishing for Autism Awareness. And on that page, you can go on there and, and put kids' names on there that's got autism and we'll put their name on the boat just to bring a little bit of awareness for them and, and get a smile out of them. We got 101, I believe, 101 or 104. We got them from North Carolina, I think, all the way to South Texas, all over. Seth Furmanek and Robert Kettner are your current Progressive Team of the Year leaders. Finishing fifth and seventh respectively on the first two events, they're not as confident coming into this week. Really think we're gonna have to grind it out. Um, shallow, uh, I mean, we saw some potential today when we, we had two big bites. And the cool part about this lake is you don't necessarily have to catch five to be at 15 pounds. So, you know, we got some big baits in the mix and uh, hopefully we can, you know, capitalize on a couple big bites and then figure out a way to catch some other fish. Casting a chatterbait over a shallow <laughs> flat, Kettner has the hot hand. I thought you were going to freaking put the net and scoop them. I was trying to pick them up. <laughs> hey, look how you feed it. Barely. That will cool. So we got a, this, this flat that's kind of cleared out in between all this timber. And there's one isolated piece of cover right here. And there's a grass line at about six feet. And uh, we're just targeting that grass line. Wind's blowing. They're feeding. So. Hopefully we can get one more big one. I, I would feel a lot better if we got another four or five pounder. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Oh! That might help save, us, save our day a little bit. Woo! Keep up with all the latest news and information on our Facebook and Instagram pages. If you're interested in past programming, look us up on OutdoorAction.com. The 2023 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is also brought to you by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats, Mercury Outboards, by Garmin Electronics, and by AFCO Performance Fishing Equipment. I've been my living on the water for over 20 years. For 14 years. For over 23 years. I've worn a bunch of different clothing brands over the years. Some companies big. And some companies small. All of them said they were making clothing for us. But none of them knew us. None of them were us. Except for one. Except for one. Except one. AFCO. 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 Fishing isn't part of us. It is us. Release the champion within. The best of the best just got better. Clear images, sharper resolution, improved target separation. That's right, better. LiveScope Plus only from Garmin. 
born in Japan. Using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured at the strictest tolerances to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament yes, bass fishing. Sir. From household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. Lake Ray Roberts. It's late April. Talking to anglers a month ago, the consensus was that this event would fish mostly post-spawn, but conditions haven't set up like previous years. High winds and muddy water have been an issue, but an early shad spawn seems to have had a big effect on the bite. Being in the right spot at the right time on the shad spawn, some banks will have shad everywhere. It's gonna be a big factor. Shad spawn's been happening for over a month now on these lakes up here. Normally it don't happen until uh, last week, April 1st of May. I think the shad push these fish around. I just, I just do. And I've seen it, I've seen it where you can sit on one spot and catch 30 pounds, but you may fish for six hours and not get a bite. If you can time it right, the shad spawn can be a quick way to get well. On the flip side, it can also be a bit frustrating. I see that line. Oh, no, I'm watching it down through there to see if it's stink. Derek Mundy and Jason Bonds launched this week third in the progressive team of the year standings. Running past a bank where shad are active, they're pitching frogs to the back of a drain. There's a fish that keeps waking back there. It's hit the top a couple times. It's what they were doing it when me and Kyle were in here a few years ago. I'm gonna grab my frog real quick. Oh, oh, got him. <laughs> he went after it. He went after it, he just didn't get it. Huh? I'm gonna get that sink in yeah. this dark picture that's around there. It'd be a whole lot cooler if they wanted to eat a frog. Well, I'm gonna try. <laughs> try something a little smaller and see if they, um. That one ate it, right? If it might work. A little bit smaller frog. This sucks, man. This sucks. No, they ain't getting nothing. They, they got this thing, the, the shad, this little shad on their mind, and they're just running around busting that. Like, what else you do? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't win. I don't know, man. Heading back to the marina, we'll check in with Colt Ferris and Drew Phillips. Looking for a berth into the championship, they're sitting just outside the top 75 in the progressive team of the year standings and need a good showing. Oh, points are so important. I mean, especially this year, you know, you can't buy your way in anymore. You gotta actually qualify. And, uh, you know, it's actually been a tough year for me this year, but uh, it's, gosh, I mean, you just can't give up points. You know, you gotta take every point you can get. And, uh, you know, Hope it all shakes out, so. With the shad spawn a factor, Colt is throwing a spinner bait in white and silver. Pitching it up onto a boat ramp, there gets a taker. And if it keeps, that's number oh, four on the I day. He was all hooked weird, Drew. I think that one will be 14. I think so, barely. Long and skinny. Oh, watch out. Yeah, take us left. Ben Morton and Connor Wisenant are up from the Metroplex. She on the hunt for shallow the fish, they've got a limit. Look, there she was right there, dude. Where? Big swirl right on that point, right, like I said. Around. She's on a bed. Yeah, definitely. She was here yesterday. Okay. 
It's a, uh, just saw a big swirl from a fish, I think, on a bed. I found it yesterday and just threw at it, didn't bite, but I just looked back there and saw it swirl again, so. That's how we've been seeing probably 90% of them is just them swirling. Um, and then you go and take a closer look and sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. Um, so you kind of just have to blind cast at them and pray they're there. Where do you think his bed is, Lou? Over here to the right. Oh, he's he looking, might bite it. Yeah, he's looking right at me. Oh, sure looks like he's gonna bite it. Golly. You think it's to the right of the bed? He's butt for a little too pounded. Let's see if he wants to eat over here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I just had him. Nice. Clip one. Heck yeah, it's a good call. Yeah, it is a decent call. All right. So I guess we're crazy. He bit all the way over there. We're right fishing for him over here. Yeah. yeah he'll, he'll call solid, dude. Yeah. Not bad. Two and a half. Paying down 21 places today, Ben and Connor might be cashing a check. There's $81,000, including a brand new Triton Mercury package up for grabs. Stay with us. We're headed to weigh in next. The 2023 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is also brought to you by Triton Boats and the Triton Gold Program. Power Pole. By TH Marine, Sunline, and Gamakatsu. Hey, all you boaters out there. Any way you float, float protected with Progressive. They insure over 1 million watercraft just like yours. Get a quote for your boat today. Ensure your passion. Hey, RVers. Any way you explore, explore protected. With Progressive, a leader in RV insurance. They make it easy to quote and the process takes as little as four minutes. Get a quote now. Ensure your passion. Twenty thousand years ago, the invention of the fish hook marked the beginning of sport fishing. The first fish hooks were made of wood and bone, but today, advancements in technology have resulted in the highest quality fish hooks, designed for targeting many different fish with a variety of techniques. Gamakatsu started producing world-leading fish hooks in Japan in 1955. Introduced to U.S. anglers in 1992, Gamakatsu USA has a hook to catch you more fish, no matter the fishing situation. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Heading into weigh-in from stop number three in the 2023 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. We're down to the final moments here on Ray Roberts. We had a pretty good day today. Looking for um, uh, bed fish you couldn't see really. Fishing for them shallow, fishing for them slow, and it worked out in our favor. Took off, headed uh, in the west arm, went into the back of some pockets, blind casting. Uh, had zero fish on top water, which uh, we were kind of counting on and uh, blind casting, shallow fish, uh, just going really slow, working our way back and forth, back and forth, and uh, ended up with a pretty good day. There's $81,000 in the purse this week. The champs will take home a 2023 Triton TRX-18 powered by a 150 horsepower Mercury. We're paying down 21 places, and that final spot pays $729. There's also additional contingency money available. You know, there's lots of things now that are, that are bonuses that, that you need to, you know, that nitro bonus is amazing. Uh, for, for an additional to win, it, it, heck, it, it pays a third as much as winning the tournament does, just that additional, you know, bonus money. Heading to the scales, Nitro Pro Matt Reed and Ricky Friedrich struggled. Weighing three fish, they'll finish outside the money with 12-12. Checking in with Seth Fermanek and Robert Kettner. The current Progressive Team of the Year points leaders put a limit on the scales for 1602. Finishing on the bubble in 21st, they'll earn $729. The Power Pole Big Bass Award pays out a Power Pole Pro Series 2 at every event. This week, it went to BJ Tarr and Michael Clements. 
They also finished the week in fourth for a total payout of $3,571. Kenny George and Nick Pantel dropped five for 2302. Third place pays out $2,915 this week. Former team of the year, Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine are back in the hunt. Finishing second this week will earn them $5,600, along with a bunch of those progressive team of the year points. Everything that could have gone right that, uh, today went our way, except for, except for winning. That was the only thing that didn't go our way, but second place isn't too bad. And finally, your champs this week are Cody Morrison and Zach Parker. Mike Hastings has the call. 27 pounds. One ounce, new leaders. We're, we're both locals here. We fish this lake all the time, uh, at least once a week. And so we just ran water we're comfortable with and we were able to put together a good sack. We had a, we had a great time doing it. Laughed a lot, called a lot of fish and uh, pretty thankful the way the day turned out. Total winnings all combined, 47,320 bucks. That's Morrison and Parker's first win on the trail. All right, here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. Moving on to the progressive team of the year standings. With their second place finish, Cecil and Castledine are back on top of the points race. Fermanek and Kettner stay in the hunt with a 21st place finish. Join us next time when the trail hits the fourth and final stop of the regular season at Richland Chambers Reservoir, a 41,000 acre impoundment just outside of Corsicana, Texas. Richland Chambers, it fishes a lot like Sam Rayburn. Uh, it's a little bit more stain. There's a lot of timber in it. It'd be mostly post spawners and stuff, and they'd be possibly making their way offshore. Actually, stack up well for all of us. Uh, being stop number four, it, it it might be surprising to a lot of guys. With just one event and the championship left in the 2023 season, it's time to start thinking about 2024. Stay on top of the news and schedules at texasteamtrail.com or keep up with us on Facebook and Instagram.